and welcome to this overview of our brand new plugin Dynamic EQ from Initial Audio. Dynamic EQ is a parametric equalizer with dynamic features. Think of Dynamic EQ as essentially a combination of EQ and multiband compression. Often with equalizers, the visualizer is an assumption and not precise, giving you misleading results. Everything in Dynamic EQ is 100% precise and represents the real signal and filter curves. Dynamic EQ is simple, easy to understand, and uses only the most necessary features. As you can see, we have a seamless GUI with resizable options. We also have a preset browser. And as well as this, we have a selection of different preset schemes to tailor each user. Along the bottom of the interface, we have our frequency regions, and to the right hand side, we have our decibel scale with a variable range control from three to 36 decibels. We also have a bypass control, the preset browser, and we can also save our very own presets, as well as 13 different schemes to suit every individual user. To create an EQ point, simply double click in the dynamic EQ window. Each point has a selection of different filters. For each EQ point, we have a frequency control, gain, threshold, ratio, and a Q control. As well as this, we also have an expansion control, which allows each EQ point to work inversely by boosting. Let's take a listen to Dynamic EQ on a range of source material. We'll start with a whole track, move on to individual drums, samples, and finish with bass. Here, I'm using this master transparent preset, and I've added my own breakpoint to try and add some sheen to the top end. The filters give an accurate representation of the signal curve. Here, we're tightening up the low end and boosting some of the very low frequencies at around 100 Hz with a large Q band. Let's move on to some drums. With this beat, I want to tame the low end to control some of the low mids. I'm going to tighten up the Q. and dial back the threshold. I'm also going to change the scale on the side here. And I'm going to boost some of the high mids. I'm going to select expansion mode. And again, dial in the Q. Let's bypass this. As you can hear, we have a little bit more control over the low mids and a little bit more presence around 3K. Okay, on this sample, I want to cut the low end completely. So I'll select a different filter type and drag it over. And again, I want to make a boost around the present section, so say 3K for that guitar. And again, I'm going to pull on the threshold, dial it in, and hit expansion. And I'm going to use a top shelf
Let's do a before and after. Much cleaner, and now this will fit in better with my production. And finally, on this 808 layer, I want to take off all of the top end and boost around the 60 hertz region to really pump the sub. I'm going to create a point and create a high cut filter and sweep this right down till I notice any harmonic change to the content. Now I'm going to add another breakpoint. I'm going to sweep this down and I'm going to put this into expansion mode. I'm going to tighten up the Q a little bit. And let's do a bypass. Using the expansion control on Dynamic EQ, I've managed to accentuate the transient of the 808 without it becoming overwhelming. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more information about Dynamic EQ, head over to the Initial Audio website.